Welcome to Going Deep, the podcast with deep gameplay and deeper conversations. Today we have good friend of the stream, Absolution. Introduce yourself. Say hello. What's up? You know who it is. Leader of the Goon Squad, uh, base <laughs> Absolution TV. That's me. Amazing. Okay. How are you doing today, my friend? Congrats on uh, casting uh, Aegis. Hope that thank you, work. thank you. Yeah, it's, uh, I'm doing good. I got out of that. It's been a, been a bit of a longer day, but you know, we're, we're gaming, so that's what matters. Oh, yeah. Um, I just haven't stopped moving since like 6 a.m. So, <laughs> well, I'll try to I'll try to beat you down twice so deep and make this easy for you. Yeah, it's nah, it's cool. We'll go to game three. All right. First question gonna be a bit. We're starting off a bit with a heavy one. All right. So all right. your absolution. You've made 163 videos on YouTube, hundreds of thousands of views. Yo, tell me about, you came with the stats. Tell me about the ups and downs of content creation, my friend. Uh, oh boy, that's a that is definitely a that's that is a hard question. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, the th like a, I feel like a lot of it. I don't know. I I think the only big down that I feel in terms of content is that sometimes I feel like like I get slept on, you know, as a as a player or a creator because I'm not masters, right? I think mm -hmm. it's the only thing that I think is like a bit of a down. Um, I mean, there's been ups and downs in, over, of the, over the whole thing, but I don't look at, um, for like the past, I'd say like year and a half, I haven't looked at my content as ever being like a, a down, right? I always, the way I describe it is like, I have a million subscriber YouTube channel. It's just not, doesn't have the number yet. <laughs> and so weird. I never really feel a down, I guess is, is the thing. I guess. I don't know. It's weird. I mean, so, that's a tough one. Be, being a fan of your content, I definitely see like. Not to gas you up or anything, but like <laughs> no, no, feel free. You're gas dedicated. Me up, gas me you up. make <laughs> you make unique content. Like I see, I see that for you as well. So that's very cool. I like that mindset a lot. Yeah, I think it's uh, it's YouTube is too big and too crowded not to have a a mind that type of business mindset. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Um, and then we're just gonna do a quick run through. Tell me about your gaming history. I know you're a big fighting game player. How you got into lore? Yeah, yeah, I uh. So I started, actually, funny enough, uh, I started playing fighting games when I was in, like, third grade. Because I would play, in, uh, I forgot which Tekken it was. It was Tekken for the PlayStation 1. Nice. Like, it was old, old, old Tekken. And uh, I was like, man, this game slaps. This game was real good. So mm -hmm. then I kept just, like, playing fighting games. Uh, and then eventually I got into, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Bakugan and Magic. And I was like, now this, this is, this is gaming right here, right? I'm like, this is, this is sick. Yeah. And so after that, I don't know, Runeterra, I played League for a while. I tried to like, I was like, I'm going to be a pro League player. So I played competitive League <laughs> for an right. extended period of time. Realized that I'm absolutely dogs at League and don't want to spend that much time playing it. I and uh, Runeterra dropped around the same time. So I started playing the game, beta. I was like, this game slaps. Mm -hmm. There's no tournaments for it. So like... I don't really want to invest all this time in because I'm like, I'm like, I know I'm good. I just like casually hit gold in like two days. Yeah. And I was like, I know I'm good at this game. I just know tournaments. So, and then the tournament, I found out with tournaments, but a year later came back and the rest is history. Gotcha. So when did you start making content in that journey? Uh, I remember. So I originally, I was doing fighting game streams on Twitch and playing Rotera on the side. Okay. Um, and it was, Probably, I'd say I made a video that I, about a Darius deck that had like a really high win rate in plat. And I was like, and it did pretty well. And I said, oh, so like I can like make this content and it, it's not going to like instantly uh, or not. It's not going to bomb. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Like I can actually do this, this content and hopefully it'll be good. Mm -hmm. And so that was uh, that was when the, it started, I guess. The and rest since then, is it's history. Been, yeah. Yeah. I've just been doing cool. Runeterra stuff since then. Okay, cool, 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 cool. I have um, two two moments, you know, like viewing your personality online that stand out mm. very heavily to me. Number one, the Rexai cosplay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a good one. That was a good one, dude. That, that was honestly probably my first time. I was like, who is this guy? I was like, what, what is happening here? Dude, that's, a, that's so funny because like, I had no business doing the Rek'Sai cosplay, but in my head, I, I I have content brain rot, as I like to call it. Mm. So in my in my mind, I'm like, yo, this is content. It's gonna be, it's hot. It could go like crazy, cause I'm gonna look dumb. And right. so I dropped like, 
eighty dollar. It, it was like eighty to one hundred. I don't remember the exact number. Uh, it's on a whim. That's dedication. Just I was like, fuck it. <laughs> yeah. And don't was follow that like the abso path. Was, it, was, that like, <laughs> was that like a sub goal or something, or was it just no? Uh, out I the just blue? did. I remember I was watching. I was watching uh, Puffball Panda stream, and she was like, "Yo, five hundred uh, or it was like it was five hundred subs, and I'll do the Rexy cosplay." And then in my head, I was like, "I think it's. I don't like sub goals. Uh, right, I like right. I feel like the Ludwig mentality of like if you're gonna make a sub goal for it, you might as well just make it because it'll be better content." Gotcha. Um, cause it's like, it clearly it's a good content idea. I was like, well, I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to do the Rexite cosplay and then it'll be funny. Cause I'm a dude doing it. Yeah. And then I was like, what if I bought like a shark fin and then like some uh, goggles and painted myself purple. And that was just, <laughs> it, I mean, it got, it, it got my attention. I'll say that. that yeah, there you go. Like, me, look at who you are. Number two is probably your most iconic, um, interaction with the lore community i yeah. think you can probably guess what i'm gonna say oh i i can uh normally it would be like oh the game show but no i know what you're talking about here yeah you you kidnapped um little chip and hold it held him at ransom until you got a a fist bump card back which i do want to congratulate you for earning. yes yes look at that right there it's look at nice that fist bump shiny. card back it's beautiful congrats i'm not allowed that. to use anything else <laughs> <laughs> is that what riot told you when they gave it to you no no i just was like <laughs> i did a lot to get this and i don't think i could ever <laughs> not use it i see i see i see so where did the idea for that start um how how was it like keeping up the acts because honestly like your your joker was so good like thank you thank you i appreciate i was the, so the impressed with the whole shebang so the uh, the entire idea. Like I'm swinging with some yeah, big okay. boys so you can take a moment. <laughs> no, you're good. You're good. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. Uh, I live. I live. You um, do, you do. I think. Yeah, you're good. There was a uh, I remember I vividly remember what happened because so all of my best content ideas are very rarely, if ever, actually planned out ahead of time outside of like 20 minutes. So I. <laughs> remember seeing a bunch of people posting about the card back yeah. uh, that they were getting it because a bunch of people started getting it and I was like this is crazy because I did a game show that Riot reached out to me about right. you, like, you hey, collabed you like with Riot yeah. yeah like I collabed with Riot and I'm like hey I don't have a card back yet <laughs> why not right in right. my head I'm like this is weird but like whatever maybe it's not I'm not a big upgrade or whatever but I see a bunch of people getting it and so as a joke, because I remember there was this moment on Twitter where someone made an account called Joker says the N word oh. and they would just tweet counting down the days. And it, like, <laughs> it got really popular and people were like, everyone wanted it to happen because it was before the Joker movie. And it just so perfectly encapsulated the Joker character of like, this is if the Internet was real, this would probably happen. Like, this is funny. Yeah, it makes um, sense. Yeah. It, and uh, I was like, I was like, hey, I remember this thing happened. So what if I just like as a joke tweet, respond and say, I'm going to go Joker mode to mm -hmm. on one of the tweets. Um, so just Joker mode is a, such a stupid thing to say. <laughs> and uh, turns out that uh, I saw one more card back on my timeline and I said, you know what? Wouldn't it be really funny if I like. Uh, I, I remember vividly going like, I'm going to. I was like, I gotta get Timo. I'll kidnap Timo, and then I'll <laughs> I'll like burn it live on stream, right? And then I was like, no, sure. this doesn't work. I was like, what if I stream for seventy two hours straight of just Timo held hostage? Mm. And so I hit up a bunch of people. I'm like, hey, does you ever have a Timo plushie? I'll pay you back. I just, I need it right now. Oh. No one has it. And I'm like, what am I gonna do? And so what? I ended up going with Chip. <laughs> wait, wait. Before and, uh... before Chip, was your plan to just like burn their Timo plushie if Riot didn't give, give you the card back? Yeah, no, for sure. I was going to ruin someone else's property. Gonna... <laughs> <laughs> there was, um... Oh, man, that's hilarious. It's, uh... There was no part of me that was that thought at all ahead of time about it. That's fair. That's fair. Oh, that hurts. Yeah. Get get that gin out of here. I don't think I can deal with these big boys at this point. So that definitely speaks to your um, eccentric nature. You know, if, if I had yeah, a word a to describe you insane <laughs> as a content creator, it would definitely be like eccentric, maybe a little wild. Um, where do you think that came from? Like who inspired you to be that way? Have you always been like this or has it been like a content brain sort of process? Yeah. Getting you. There? Um, it's a little bit of both. I've always been kind of a, like an eccentric person. Mm -hmm. uh, I have one of my best friends growing up was, is it was very eccentric. He's still one of my best friends. Um, and it kind of 
just being friends with him, I was like, man, it's just cool to like be yourself and exist mm -hmm. and vibe. And so that's when I was like, well, I'm just gonna do that from now on. And so this is just who I am internally. I have ADHD and I just let it take over. And gotcha. whatever happens, happens. Just being yourself, I love it. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. And, you know, it's uh, gotten me this far. No, no, hear me out. I'm listening. Hear me out. What if I, what if I didn't die? I would be very impressed, honestly. I mean, I guess that could be fast speed nation, right? Yeah, it would have to be. Oh, so. uh, we're gonna do that. I think that's the only thing I can do here. Yep. That's, oh. it. that's it for that. Piercing. <laughs> nah, it doesn't. I don't live. I, I almost live. Almost live. Almost live. GG's on that one. So, yeah, no, GG's. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of where it came from is, is a lifelong friend and just being like, it's cool to be yourself. And I'm also a trained actor. Um, so okay, I have a degree in performance. So I, I like I have a degree in performance and a minor in like marketing, but it's a custom minor. So half of it ended up being film classes. That they just carried over for me. Um, so I have like some filmmaking experience. I have some marketing experience. I have some uh, acting experience. So I just kind of know certain things. And it all About kind like, of just came yeah, together it all works. to create Absolution TV. Yeah, I'm really good at improv. I've done improv for like four or five, uh, five years now. Oh, I would so love to like, do just, improv with you. That sounds like such a blast. Dude, I am I am I love improv, dude. It's uh, I like especially not even just improv comedy, just improv theater in general, I think is really dope. Can you Some rap? of my favorite you, improv can scenes you rap? have been can like... We, can we freestyle improv? Dude, I don't. I'm bad. <laughs> okay, that's fair. I, the, that's fair. I'm so bad. No, I'm sure. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Where, where did you get your name from? We're going to pivot a little bit. So, uh, I my this is my fighting game tag I've had since I got into the Smash community. And I was like, I, everyone has a cool tag. Mm -hmm. I want a cool tag. What's like something cool, one word, not super complex. So my old tag was Below Zero Gaming. And I was like, this is kind of whack. I saw that um, on one of your old videos when you were playing against yeah. Uh, Majin. Yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. It's, it, it was that for a while before I actually changed it on in client. Gotcha. And so I'm like, man, what do I do as, as like a name, right? Because I'm like, what am I going to do? And I was like, I just I ended up on the word absolution, mm -hmm. you know? And I was like, okay. But like, how do I, can I spell this cool? Like, is there a different way I can spell it? And so uh, I was like, Pokemon Absol, really cool. cool. Lucian, black guy in League. I am black and play League. It's Absolution, and that's how I came about with the name. It works out. And it Absol does. is uh, like the uh, the disaster Pokemon or something, right? Uh, yeah, he's hype. He's so cool. He's since I was a kid, that's been like my favorite Pokemon. No, no, I don't know what it is about him. He has like a tag on the Pokédex entry. It's like something like disaster or something. Yeah, he's just super like, dope. I love Absol. Great, great Pokemon, obviously. I, I play uh, I play Absol in Pokemon Unite when I play that game, which is like uh, once, at, once, a blue, once in a blue every moon. year. Yeah. <laughs> but I love Pokemon Unite, though. I thought it was a great game. I mean, not that it's not a game anymore, but I don't play it anymore, so. No, yeah. I don't either. I kind of, I, I, I fell off. Same, same. I don't, Absol was annoying in that game. So it's like a, Yeah, he was broken. Uh, Oh my gosh, I forgot about that. Um, You're so you've good. been a student? You graduated then? Uh, I I'm graduating this uh, coming semester. I will be a graduated boy. Okay. How old are you, if you don't mind me asking? I'm 23. Gotcha. Okay, you're, you're one year my elder. I am on the long plan for college, which tends to be the wave at my school. Gets people. Dude, they do. They do, yeah. That's how schools work. They wanna, they wanna keep you there. They try to keep you there, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah they do. Yeah. Oh, that's nuts. That was sick. Being a being a student though, and doing, uh, I mean, you you do a lot of content. Like you stream pretty. You you stream frequently, right? Uh, f yeah, frequently enough, I guess. I don't stream every day, and oh. I usually like. You put in like six hour streams, which is nuts. Uh, I have no clue uh, how you do it. I, you know. We're, we're not talking about me. Back to you. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I do. I do stream. I do. I do the the Twitch thing. And you do a lot of YouTube, right? Like, yeah, YouTube is the big thing for me. Yeah. Um. So yeah, how do you how do you balance that with school? I mean, I remember. Uh, I vaguely remember like a tweet where you were talking about that balance and just like. <laughs> I don't. Yeah. I um. So 
when I was during my semester, mm-hmm. I was working. Uh, damn. We're going. Can you I hand- was working uh, like 30 hours a week going to school for doing like I think I was I was on 12 credits. So I was full time mm-hmm. and still putting out a video a week. It was insane. And Crazy. I wanted to I was like, I'm going to explode. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, this is this is the worst <laughs> thing I've ever done. It's I'm not going to make it. That's a lot of things to juggle. Yeah, it was it was a bit too much. Mm-hmm. But you made it. But you made it. Yeah, we got out of that. And that's yeah. what matters. And uh, so I was thinking my play here. Oh, you're good. Take and as much so, time as you need. I'm running through these questions. You're answering them so well. <laughs> no, no worries. No worries. I um, When it comes to balancing school, I essentially last semester, I was fortunate enough to be able to uh, kind of like live with my parents for like 600 bucks a month. I pay rent. I have uh, uh, like the master bedroom, which has some, I have essentially a studio apartment in my own my household ha- home. So I just kind of have my own space to, to mess around, do what I want, which is really nice. And is, um, yes, yeah. it has given me the opportunity last semester to essentially work significantly less and balance it out. But it's still it's still rough, right? It's still not. I mean, not you're fun. Still, my streams get suffers. You're you're so. paying rent. It, it's uh, yeah. <laughs> you're you're doing the adult thing, and that's uh, something to be appreciated effort wise. You know, that's deep. It's deep. Yeah, no, it definitely is. But um, so yeah. I, Oh, love for what I do. That's really what I'd say is the answer. That's how I balance it is that I, I that's... love making videos and I'll never do anything else. You, you can tell you love it, honestly. Like your your energy is very like, I, I don't think there's a content creator, maybe at least in the lore community that matches your energy on like such a consistent basis, you know? Yeah, it's, um, it's, uh... it, re- it was, uh, so I don't take uh, like, this is going to sound a little rude. I take like zero inspiration for content from the LOR community in terms of like the creators that we have. Mm-hmm. And I look at everyone outside of the LOR community, like like bigger creators in other communities. I look at what they do and I, and how they stream for inspiration. Mm-hmm. Uh, because like, you I don't want to do what everyone else is doing. Yeah, you mentioned yeah, Ludwig. Yeah, Ludwig is a big one. It's Ludwig, Ludwig Scooch, and I'd say like Tyler One ah. are three of my bigger inspirations. Because I like that Tyler One gets hype and has a good time. Dude, I'm not trying a single champion. This is yeah, Sag. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> this is Sag. It's all good. Hey, play me again after this. Play another one. We can we can Run do back. another quick one. I'm Run back. I'm um But those I think that they just have, like they do it the best out of out of almost anyone. Mm-hmm. And so I like to to see what they do. And Ludwig made a video one time. He was talking about it and he was like, "Yeah, pick three people that you like and emulate their content. Like take things you like from what they do." And combine that into your own thing. So that's just what I did. Mm. And so my energy a lot of the times comes from the fact that like I don't know, I don't know how to explain it because I'm, I'm I wouldn't say I'm chill in real like outside of stream, but I am just kind of vibing, right? I'm yeah. usually pretty quiet. I I would not, not really... I would not have expected that at all. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm a, I'm pretty closed off in terms of like who I like outside of of the game. Unless I'm with people I'm comfortable with, but for the most part I'm like. I know, I just don't go I'm I feel like I'm old. Like I don't go out of my way to like draw attention to myself and stuff. I the last thing I expected you to hear or the last thing I expected to hear from you in this like little interview uh discussion session is that you're like introverted naturally. Um so I I'm not. I'm extrovert. I'm okay. actually a very natural extrovert. It's just that uh this is everything I talk about for the past 2 years is all I want to talk about is like YouTube. And no one really uh, wants to talk about YouTube, so I don't have anything to talk about. So okay. I just quiet. So it's been like a bit of a maturing process in here. Yeah, for sure. Gotcha. For sure, I've grown up a lot, dude. There's a the old Absol is not a good good look at all, and I'm glad that it's that he's dead. <laughs> he's never coming back. And how did you kill old Absol? What happened to that guy? Uh, Andrew Yang ran for president. That is a 
I'm gonna need you to elaborate on that answer. Yeah, yeah, cool. So this is uh, so despite <laughs> my recent video about Grappler, mm -hmm. I used to be a raging uh, right wing Ben Shapiro fan. Mm -hmm. I don't think I ever got like I never got racist. Okay, I never got like that bad. Right. But I was definitely not based in any way, shape, w or form. Were you telling people to like pull themselves up from their bootstraps? Vibe? Oh yeah, I was on I was on that wave. Okay. Um, because I grew up. Uh, very privileged for a person of color and I was like if I can do it why can't you do it I don't get it uh, and then I went to college with a bunch uh, picked a theater degree mm -hmm. so I spent all my time around people who were very like progressive and liberal mm -hmm. and then I remember be, like Adrian ran for president and he just explained everything so in, so in a way that my my brain my rotted conservative brain would understand and then I was like oh this is stupid and I'm being dumb and then the re I started watching a lot of Hassan uh, and like Hassan. doing a lot of reading on like I, at work sometimes I'll just read like academic papers on socialism and economics and oh. stuff because that's a uh, something I'm very passionate about is like understanding systems of yeah. things yeah as somebody who's took in like I took a bunch of econ classes and a bit of sociology and stuff in college I definitely relate to that they're turning us liberal abso you know they we, are we they lost. really are you know those college <laughs> institutions they're uh just designed they're, to liberalize us, right? They're making, they're making libs. All right, brother. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Let's go, Brandon. Oh my god. <laughs> but yeah, I've, uh, I don't know. I just was like, oh, this is dumb and stupid and bad. Is the the short the short of the situation? I'm gonna tell you a brief story. So when I was, oh, yeah, hit me. when Andrew Yang ran for president, I was a sophomore in college, right? Mm -hmm. Um, somebody like not working for his campaign but who was like heavily campaigning for his campaign this is like a fan of him ran this mm -hmm. challenge where like you could win a thousand dollars if you made like a song for andrew yang and it got the most retweets. yeah right yeah I, I, so i i made i made a song and i earned a thousand dollars you did <laughs> yeah that's nuts i got dude. like because i was a fan of yang as well like when he was running i think he like definitely did, appealed wait, to did you make the andrew yang rap people like us i I'm, that might have been me if you ran across that at some point. Dude, that's that's going to be insane if that's you. That's so funny. <laughs> I had a lot shorter hair back then. It was uh, it was a different time for Max as well. But that's hilarious that we both have a bit of a tie-in to the yeah, Yang dude, that's, Gang. That's Yang Gang, bro. That's that's the wave. <laughs> that's so funny. I, since, um, I mean, I don't know. I'm not as big of a fan of him anymore since his New York campaign and stuff. Yeah, no. He, uh, he definitely... Definitely. did not do that well yeah i mean not just that at but all. it's like i don't know i feel like he he said definitely some stuff. definitely strayed a bit from his uh original vibe yeah i think is, i think know. he got jaded i think the syst like just how scuffed the system is yeah. this is a good job of making you I, I think he just realized you really had to play the game in politics too, yeah. to find any success which is an unfortunate you know thing but it, it is sucks it is. yeah did not expect to talk politics with you though. That's cool too. Dude, it's uh, people don't like it. That's no. Uh, of the two things I talk about most, it's like I'm like YouTube, and then it's like, why capitalism bad? <laughs> no, <laughs> one time I talked about abortion on my stream when uh some of the Roe v Wade stuff was happening, and mm. I think my viewer count went from like 80 viewers to like 30, and I was like, oh shit. Dude. They don't, dude, people don't like it. There's people... some there's a surprising amount. I've been dealing with it a lot on my um my grappler video of people in like that that play this game that mm -hmm. are like chuds mm. and i'm like wow i'm just very surprised can you define chud for us uh so i def a uh, chud is a term i use for a conservative person that doesn't know what they're talking about and refuses to educate themselves mm -hmm. not okay. like uh you're like mid your midwestern conservative that's been like brainwashed they're not i don't call like, i don't consider them chuds chuds are people who are like have actually the internet. they know how to educate themselves they know how to become smarter and they willingly choose not to so was here's the question was pre but before you killed old absolution was he yeah. a chud or oh old... for sure such an idiot <laughs> so dumb i would like I didn't know how to. I, it was bad. I would like look up bias sources for things. Like it was, it was rough okay. in these streets. Like it's not good. Uh, not intentionally, but I would. Ser I knew how to Google to find right. what I wanted to find okay. to win arguments. I was more of like a debate lord. How much time have we wasted just debating people know. on the internet, man? That's too much. Too, too much, much, dude. At this point, it's like, 
I still do it because I'm like, man, it's so. Sometimes it's just so hard not to. I feel. But I've been yeah. getting better at catching myself. That's good. I th I think around like the time of that campaign, I guess it must have been what 2020, right? 2020. It was 2020, yeah. Yeah. So like 2019, I think that was when I like kind of was like, okay, I cannot like exist and spend this t much time on the internet like arguing with people. It's just like not gonna work anymore, Max. It doesn't. It, it doesn't, doesn't do anything. Like I, the, you just can't change people's minds. It's it's a tricky it's a tricky conundrum, for sure. All right, you got champions this time, so show me what this uh, Zig Siver all right, all right, deck is. All right, uh, we'll, we'll see what happens here. And so, and, oh, the hourglass. Okay, okay. See what happens. See what happens. Spicy. I got um, a chance. I got no, I got no landmark, so we'll figure it out. I feel you. Um, you've done collaborations with some of the most high-profile Legends of Runeterra players and yes. content creators, Majin Bay. Uh, uh, Icado, um, you can help me. Redacted people. Redacted, um, yeah. Nick makes plays. Other just bunch of like the most Riot popular games themselves. Riot <laughs> games. What has that process been like, and um, how do you approach people when you want to uh, have them on your platform? Yeah, um, Slick. This is actually really dope. I was, I was hoping to answer this question. Yeah. So, because um, this is something I, I, I need to know, like doing this going deep thing, you know. Yeah, yeah yeah so i think the big thing for me was like a lot of people look at like a big youtuber and mm -hmm. they see them as like this like figure who will never interact with them and acknowledge them right and i'm like i i don't I'm, i look at it and i'm like i've met like hot p a famous actors my my acting teacher his most famous contact is uh sebastian stan like when you uh, like experience I'm, that world okay. you realize i must be uneducated Who's, who's Sebastian Stan? Uh, the Winter Soldier. The Winter Soldier, okay. Gotcha. From the Marvel movies. Cool. Um, gotcha. That That's good enough. Um, so, okay. so you like, just, yeah, everybody's just people, yeah, right? Everyone is just people. And I was like, I know that my ideas for content are good. Mm -hmm. And I will approach people with those ideas. And I, there's a lot of, there is strategy involved. Like with the LOR game show, mm -hmm. damn. I, one got, of the I just big got things, some hungry boys. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. One of the big things I did with that uh, came from that, that, like when I was deciding what to do, was reach out to a friend of mine who was a streamer. I was like, hey, come on my stream and guess these cards. You've never played this game. I think it'll be funny. It'll be good content. I'll like, give you money. Um, that was the other thing is that I was fortunate enough to be in a position to be able to like pay people to do this because mm -hmm. all of the money for that came out of my own pocket. It was never like uh, something I was uh, like earning stream income off of to do. Uh, so. I'm doing this thing right and I, I'm like okay I want to get LOR creators on I'm like who can I reach out to that has a big enough platform but a low enough interaction on Twitter that their D their inbox isn't full because gotcha. if you're a big creator your inbox on Twitter is insane yeah like I'm like okay and I was like okay well I know Mo and Saucy Mailman are big creators with smaller Twitter followings so that's why I tagged them in the first video and said I was like, yo, this would be cool. Why don't I get you guys on here? Straight up. Just I was like, I was like, I'm just gonna tag them and try to like clout chase. Yeah. Um I mean And they saw it and they were like, this is cool. And there's no that, shame in a little clout chasing. Absolutely not. I think Especially if you're like, if you're actually like making something, then not gonna fuck. You're making something valuable. You're making something cool. Like why why not try to make like have cool people on there, right? You know? Exactly. Like, I'm just gonna do that. this because I'm still gonna die. Um yeah. Well But your it's, uh, it's it's worth it. The the fire does not do well in the water. No, no, it does not. Do the Pokemon approach. No, to it things. does not. Zig's explosions gonna need a different type of uh. Bandle version still bomb. still better. Yeah. Bandle version yep. still better. But um, yeah, I think that was the big thing. Is like I'm not afraid to just reach out to people that are bigger than me, because I don't I. <laughs> I don't think anyone's bigger than me in outside of numbers. Gotcha. Like, I can watch. I watch my own content with the same amount of criticism as I watch anyone else's content. Um, and I can see things they do wrong, the first thing they do right. Before I started making videos consistently and streaming, mm -hmm. I spent like two years consuming as much like how to YouTube content, studying videos. I still do it. It's still part of my, my daily routine. Mm -hmm. um, it's like studying content because since I was like 11 years old, I've wanted to be a YouTuber. Mm -hmm. And uh now i'm like kind of doing it and that's like crazy <laughs> i mean and it's like yeah i wanna i i know one of the big things when i first started was like i'm not gonna be an lor content creator i just want to be a content creator that plays lor 
Gosh. and I want to be able to pivot at some point in my life. Like, sure. I don't probably not gonna play this game forever. <laughs> you know. Right. Okay. So. Final question: What do you see in your future, Absolution? Tell me what you got going on. Anything you want to promote? Uh, um, what you're looking forward to? Okay. Yeah, uh, I will promote a couple things. I don't. I don't mind Please. leaking. No. Uh, I'm working on a really cool Runeterra Fortnite takeover event. I think it'll be pretty funny. Oh yeah. As Fortnite? well as, uh, yeah. If you want in, let me know. Uh, <laughs> I've never we'll played, played Fortnite no build. It's a bunch of LOR players. We're all gonna suck. <laughs> Sounds like a <laughs> but, good time. But uh, I'm trying to reach out to uh, league YouTubers to try to get a cool thing going on there. Ooh, that I don't want to leak too much okay, with that because okay. it's still in the works. Sick. But I'm gonna follow my other uh, other pro tip for you if you want to be uh, if you want to like get people treat this like a business. Mm -hmm. And you got to look at like, what can I provide as value to you? Cause I can't provide you views, right? And you're small. Right. You're like, I can't give you views, but what can I give you that will make you enticed enough to like, at least read my email. Yeah. Yeah. You know? And cool. so that's, that's the current thing. I might have to harass some editors too. I'm kind of a pain in the butt. I'll send like five <laughs> emails and four DMS. Like I'm just, you gotta be, let up. <laughs> you gotta be like a little mosquito. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be really you gotta be really annoying and you're either gonna burn the bridge or they'll come on, but they, whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Cool. Well it was a pleasure having you on. Absolutely. It was a pleasure being on. This was fun. I like this podcasts. Fun. Sick. Hell yeah. Okay. I think this is I was actually gonna I was actually gonna tell you, I think this is the perfect content for you to make based on just your general vibe and what you do best on stream. Swag. So, Swag. Good to see you feet playing to your strengths. Cool. Well, until next time. It's a good time and uh your stuff will be below all that good stuff yeah yeah yeah, yeah dude. i have so pleasure it's been a pleasure peace